Ukraine can stop Putin if U.S. provides weapons. Biden. Ukraine could stop the Russian President Vladimir Putin if it will be provided with the necessary weapons, states U.S. President Joe Biden in his address to Congress. Since President Lincoln and the Civil War, there have been undersolved at home as there are today. Putin's Russia on the march invading Ukraine and sowing chaos throughout Europe and beyond. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you he will not. But Ukraine? Ukraine can stop Putin. Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide them with the weapons they need to defend itself. According to the president, aid is being blocked by those who want to step away from global leadership. Biden also mentioned Trump in his speech and his support for Putin. Now my predecessor, a former Republican president, tells Putin, quote, do whatever the hell you want, that's a quote. A former president actually said that bowing down to the Russian leader. I think it's outrageous, it's dangerous and it's unacceptable, Biden said. According to the president of the US, the country cannot put Ukraine, Europe and the entire free world at risk. History is literally watching. History is watching. The US walks away if it puts Ukraine at risk. Europe is at risk. The free world will be at risk and bolding others to do what they wish do us harm. My message to President Putin, whom I've known for a long time, is simple. We will not walk away. We will not bow down, said the President of the US. Biden also stated that there are no American soldiers in Ukraine and he promised not to allow this in the future. Earlier, it was reported that the Biden administration is considering assistance to Ukraine from the US Army budget. The aid could amount to around $200 million. Recently, the Senate passed a separate bill with funds for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. For the bill to take effect, it still needs to be approved by the House of Representatives and signed by President Joe Biden. According to CNN, the House of Representatives may vote on financial aid to Ukraine in late March or April. North Korean Army simulating the storming and seizure of a South Korean border post. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, during military exercises that included simulating the storming and seizure of a South Korean border post, called on the country's army to intensify preparations for war according to the requirements of the current situation. The need for training in attacks on border posts was explained by the North Korean leader as a response to constant threats from enemies. As reported by the official Korean Central News Agency, Kim Jong-un called on the military to usher in a new heyday of intensifying the war preparations in line with the requirements of the prevailing situation. He also gave instructions about more strongly conducting practical and realistic exercises that assure the conviction of winning on the actual battlefield. It is noted that such military activity at the main base for operational training in the western part is taking place against the backdrop of the annual US and South Korean joint exercises called Foal Eagle, which began on Monday. Photographs of the North Korean drills were also published by Rodong Sinmun, showing troops and helicopters practicing the seizure of a post similar to the one South Korea has on its side of the border. Earlier in January, the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, made a series of statements indicating his desire and readiness to start a war with South Korea. The New York Times reported that the US anticipates the possibility of military action between North Korea and South Korea in the coming months. At the same time, the press notes that Pyongyang has a significant reason not to escalate the conflict as the pace of North Korea's economic growth has reached its highest level in almost a decade due to the sale of weapons by Russia. Ukraine's massive ammo deficit, greatest danger to NATO security, Armageddon is considered inevitable. Two weeks of NATO drama have somewhat overshadowed Ukraine's deteriorating battlefield position as Western politicians and media focus on the ever-present danger of direct conflict between Moscow and its transatlantic rivals, according to Newsweek. Kyiv's forces are struggling to hold the long front line in the south and east of the country against continued and at times frenzied assaults. 
Units are increasingly short of manpower and are still being denied the Western ammunition and advanced weapons Kyiv says it vitally needs. Recent interventions and a significant intelligence leak from Western capitals, though, though, have focused on the prospect of NATO troops operating within Ukraine and prompted fresh threats of nuclear war from Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Kremlin allies. French President Emmanuel Macron first raised the proposal of deploying NATO troops to Ukraine in training and advisory roles. In his denouncement of the plan, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz revealed that French and British troops are already thought to be in country. This conclusion was then echoed in a recording intercepted and leaked by Russia of senior German military officials discussing Western support to Ukraine. The greatest acute danger is still from the front lines in Ukraine. One European diplomatic official who spoke to Newsweek on the condition of anonymity as they were not authorized to speak publicly said when asked about the prospects of Russian escalation. The ammunition deficit is massive and Russian pressure intense, they added. The West is paralyzed by fear. So far, all the red lines we've crossed have not brought the Armageddon we're so afraid of. A second European diplomatic official, who also requested anonymity to speak candidly, suggested to Newsweek that Moscow primarily wants to exploit alliance concerns to further deter Western aid to Kyiv. I doubt you can change Russia's calculus just by sending trainers to Ukraine, they said. I'm sure the Russians are well aware of who's doing what in Ukraine, the diplomatic official added. Ukraine needs ammo and air defense. That's where the immediate focus should be.